Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is day 25 of my book of me. Let's get going. So in this one we'll be talking about TV shows that are like the TV show Wednesday. So I hope you like this. I hope you like the TV show. Because this one is for you. Let's go. Also coming up we have the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So this is also based on comic series. And this is like supernatural horror drama who follows Sabrina Spellman, who is a half witch and a half mortal who must accept her nature in order to defend her family and the daylight world itself. My next one is Riverdale, which is and this has been adapted by the Archie comics, which I actually have a lot of Archie comics, so I was here before Riverdale came out. I just want to point that out. <laughs> And so when basically it's just like a young adult drama who follows the teenage and her dads of the Tudor town, meaning that after their own after one of their own is found dead. So it is the show is really much darker than the original comics that I have read. And even though the, even though the, they are in high school, they do eventually come in contact with supernatural and all the dark and spooky things as well. So this is just filled with drama, scandals, and horrific twists. And especially this series is eerie and on and kind of self-aware. My next one is Charmed. And this one I believe is also about witches. Uh, so th yeah, this is the priestess is known as the Charmed ones who are said to be the most powerful Good witches, especially when the powers are combined. The power of three that they possess is integral in protecting those around them from evil supernatural beings, including literal demons. Um, so, um, unlike Wednesday, who likes the darkness, each, uh, each of these sisters tries to hide like, the individual power in order to live like an almost normal lives that they have. And so, yeah, I, I really do think Charmed is quite similar to Wednesday, but just a little bit different because in Charmed, you know, the sisters are trying to hide while Wednesday is like, I'm the darkness, y'all. <laughs> but, yeah. My next one is a series of unfortunate events. We have three orphans attempt to find out what happened to the recently deceased parents by evading a crazed performer who wants to claim the fortune for himself. It does have similar macabre and fantastical elements to it. And you know, the lead, like the main leads are equally as precautious as Wednesday. So I think the series is also a little bit dark. From what I can remember, I feel like I have watched one episode from this series. So it does resemble almost to Wednesday, the spooky, strange, unfortunate events, if you will. So yeah, I really like that series. It was definitely unfortunate. Next one is The Stranger Things. We have a group of young friends bear witness to strange supernatural forces as they search for answers. They unravel a tangled mess of government corruption and extraordinary mystery. So this is also being seen through a bunch of endearing school age Weirdos, Wednesday is also considered to be a weirdo. So, and it's really mysterious and dramatic, just like Wednesday. My next one is, this is also a book as well as a movie. I'm not sure if it's a TV show, I don't think it is. But this is Miss Pigeon's Home for Peculiar Children. We have a boy who comes into a children's home which houses a secret for children with unusual powers. So in this movie, yeah, so this is just packed with fantasy and drama, but also has a familiar mystery that is has to in the book, just like Wednesday. So the, yeah, so this movie is also unusual and all that fun stuff. It has matching elements to it as well. And honestly, I thought it was okay. The movie was okay. I think it could have been done better. My next one is Beetlejuice. A recently deceased couple struggled to scare away the family who have moved into their old home, so they enlist the help of freelance buyer exorcist Beetlejuice. So, you know, Tim Burton's famous film. I think he also directed Wednesday. 
and it's just the overlap between the style of Wednesday and this movie itself it's just similar and obviously Wednesday is also a little bit jumpy and dark and gloomy so I think it can be worked very well. My next one is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Young woman destined to be the greatest vampire slayer of all times tries to live a normal life while well, also hunting demons and vampires. So we all know Buffy who is a badass but so I also think Wednesday has a little bit of badass in her as well so those two are kind of almost similar but not quite. Um, yeah so this is going to be interesting. And of course my next one is the Scooby Doo movies. It's released in 2002 and 2004 and the mystery game come to the first investigator amusement park infested with real demons. In the next movie, they unmask a villain who wants to control a city using a machine that creates monsters. So there is an overlap in monsters between these two vehicles that are also camp and spooky just like the Wednesday. So I think this is could be perfect one. My next one is Pretty Little Liars. So this is a clique of five, be five besties falls apart with after the leader disappears. So in the afternoon, the remaining from my the remaining members begin receiving messages from a mysterious figure who threatens to expose them all. Again, it's I think from what I can remember, I think I watched one episode. And it kind of felt already dark in itself, and it has a lot of mysteries as well. So. That's all I can remember from Pretty Little Liars, but I'm pretty sure this could also be a substitute for Wednesday. My next one is the Umbrella Academy, and we have a child here as well. Grown Apart must be united to continue to protect the world. As ancient, so that it's because of the family dynamic that we have, they all have their own powers, and the banter between the characters makes really entertaining. And they also go together because of the situation. And our next one is Fate to Wings Saga. So we have a family that attends a magical school where she befriends other fairies in an attempt to master her magical powers while they, they are ancient creatures that threaten Althea. It's, you know, we have enchanted school, a supernatural threat, and a complicated business of forging new relationships, that, which is what Wednesday had as well. My next one is the School of Good and Evil. Two friends are swept away to enchanted school where heroes and villains are trained to protect the balance between good and evil. So in terms of similarities, it's aesthetically bold and focuses on teens finding their way in a supernatural school. So they all have like these supernatural elements. My next one is Teen Wolf. The night before his summer sophomore year at high school, an aqua teen is bitten by a werewolf forever changing his ordinary life. So it's also a tale of teenager attempting to balance teen problems with supernatural activities. My next one is The Worst Witch. So we have the Mildred Hubble, a noble girl from a world outside of magic who finds herself at Miss Cackle's Acad Academy for Witches. So this series is a little bit um, light-hearted but the struggle of Mildred is a bit similar to Wednesday and how she adjusts her new school kind of mirrors to Wednesday. And my last one is The Craft. This is a new girl moves to a school where she encounters three girls who practice witchcraft against those who cross them. So Nancy and like are all outsiders like Wednesday who have secret powers they must uncover and as well we have Wednesday and them who are being weirdos so that's also one thing they have in common. And my next one is Once Upon a Time. I do think I do think it's almost similar to Wednesday we're following like a whole bunch of eccentric people. I don't think the show itself is also eccentric at times, there's magic, there's supernatural good and evil so and really I know like there's a whole bunch of mysteries as well we have a pastel skin who is quite a mystery character in my opinion but yeah I know some think what's about a time also fits in this series as well um also I think it's called Alice, but yeah, and there's also a spinner from Once Upon a Time, which is Alice in Wonderland. I also find Alice in Wonderland kind of similar to Wednesday, just because of how eccentric and weird and mystery and suspense it just feels 
out of this world, so I do think it's quite similar to Wednesday. And those are all the TV shows that are similar like Wednesday, let me know which one you have watched and let me know which one you think I have missed. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!